Hey, this is Katie with Wildflower Homeschool and Tiny House Homestead. And this is going to be, well, I was going to be doing weekly updates, but I haven't been doing a very good job doing weekly updates. So I guess my bi-weekly update of our homeschool year, uh, we just finished up week five. I cannot even believe that we're getting ready to start week, week six. Uh, that's crazy. It's going by so fast, but everything's going really well. Our schedule is going well, all of our curriculum is going well. Um, I did buy a new math curriculum for my third grader. What we were using was fine. It was, you know, she, it was doing great, but I had been looking at this certain math curriculum for almost a year. I thought that she would really like it. Um, but since we already had math curriculum that was working fine with her, I decided not to buy it. But she has been doing this building thinking skills book, and she loves it. And the math curriculum that I was looking at was is made by the same company, the critical thinking company, as these books. So because she likes the format of it so much, I did go ahead and buy her this mathematical reasoning math book. Um, oh, ow. It doesn't have a teacher's manual. It's just kind of a colorful workbook type thing. And she is really enjoying it. And I think it was a good choice. Um, so she's going to be doing that for math this year. Uh, the other thing that I have been looking for is a writing curriculum and I have not found one that I liked. Uh, so what we've been doing and what I plan on doing is just doing uh, journaling and, uh, you know, I didn't really have a plan other than journaling and answering questions and some workbooks and stuff like that. But it's third grade and I think that she is, last year she kind of fought writing so I didn't want to push her into writing until she was ready, but I think that she is ready. So I've kind of been looking for a writing curriculum that I think would work for her. She kind of likes structure, so I wanted something that was kind of structured but didn't take up a whole lot of time. Um, so I haven't, never really found a homeschool curriculum that I liked, but I was looking and I found a free PDF online and it is public school third grade writing curriculum. Um, my oldest daughter went to public school in third grade and I didn't like how stress, stressed it was. It really stressed writing uh, essays, like teaching them how to write a five paragraph essay. And at the end of the year, they were required to do a writing assessment where they sat down at a computer and typed for two hours and had to write a five paragraph essay typing it um, for an assessment and I thought that that was ridiculous and it really frustrated me that I thought I just don't think that that is age appropriate for most third graders. Um, but I did find the writing cl curriculum does teach them how to write a five paragraph essay that I'm, I've decided to use with my current third grader. Um, I'm not going to stress teaching her for an assessment at the end of the year, but I do like the format. I'm gonna link it down below. You can go check it out um, if you're interested in using it. I will say my older daughter can write a really good essay. It's easy for her to organize her thoughts. It's, she did learn that skill very early. It's not something that I think they need to learn in third grade, but um, I think that it will really benefit her in the long run to be able to write a good essay, and she does great at it. And for her, I've just kind of focused on creative writing because we, we did a couple essays last year just to make sure that I knew she knew how to do it, um, and she does, so we've just, I've been letting her write creatively. She loves writing, so that hasn't been an issue with her. But I am going to start this writing program 
for my third grader that I've linked below. And I really like, it gives topics, they want them to write an essay every week, which we are not gonna do. We are probably gonna write an essay, like my goal is like once a month, write an essay and spend time and really talk about it. Um, they also have journal entries uh, that they can do every day that teaches them how to like write details and really focus on that. So that's what we're gonna do this year. I think she's ready for it. It's not gonna be anything that I'm going to stress over, but um, I do think that introducing formal writing early is gonna benefit her because it has really benefited my older daughter. And writing an essay is something that I was taught to do well in school and really uh, helped me in college and has just made my life easier as far as that. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm going back and forth about it because I don't necessarily want something super structured and I didn't like the way they did it in public school and I don't know that I like, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel guilty about using public school curriculum when I was so like against that. But I, I think that the way it's structured is good and I can be more relaxed about it and I'm not stressed out about some assessment at the end of the year. So that's what we're gonna do. If it doesn't work, we'll toss it, but I think that it's going to. It's Cause she likes to structure, but I'll let you know how it goes. Um, we started it this past week and it's going well. I think it's gonna go well. She likes the journal topics um, and it's free, so. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it for this week. And things are going well. Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't have anything else to say. I just want to let you guys know those two things that we did change for my third grader. Fifth grader is going great. Everything's going well. She's very independent. She did finish her, the first Learn Math Fast book. So we're moving on to the second book. The second book is fractions, decimals, and percentages. Um, and that should, it's a pretty thin book. That should only take her a month or two to get through. And then she moves on to pre-algebra already. So I really like the way the books are set up. She'll just move right along through it. Um, so I'll stop rambling and uh, have a good week. Maybe I'll do a video next week. If not, I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.